Hey guys, how's it going? Is this freaking you out? <laughs> Look at me branching out all over the place. First of all, I've started blogging again and I've stuck with it. Number two, I've shot videos that are not 20 minutes in length. Number three, I actually shot a video in my hotel room, which means I packed my camcorder, I packed my tripod, I shot a video, and I uploaded it while I was on the road. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this just made me realize, whoa! Okay, here's the thing, I think my Vivo Fit is, uh, I was just noticing, sometimes I have to, sometimes I have to do this to get it started. We're gonna go walk in a minute in my house because I think that this is way off. I, I'm never this low. Look, see how low I am? It's uh, 2877. And the red light, see how it's red? That's blinking to go, alert! Like you need to be walking, Kelly. Um, but then again, this morning, which this is part of my topic today, is my blog post is gonna be face the frustration. Um, and I'm making a, a change, or it's something I've thought about before, but. I'm kind of facing the frustration, getting over it, and just adjusting as I needed to, as needed to. But this morning, I did not, let's see, I'm trying to think of why. I had some really early calls scheduled. I don't normally, and <laughs> for me, my man friend might laugh and go, your idea of really early and my idea of really early are different. So for me, <laughs> well, because I work out in the morning. Um, typically what I've been doing is I get up in the morning, you guys know this, this has been kind of my case for probably a year and a half or so. I just have an itch in my ear, forgive me. Um, so I get up in the morning, I do my fasted cardio. Right now it's just 20 minutes to 25 minutes of HIIT training. Um, and then what Whitney was telling me to do is, is do your, uh, your weights, you know, either at lunch or in the evening. And I feel like I've been a trooper, you guys. I've, I've had some times where I'm in here in my office and I work until like, you know, 6, 6.30, sometimes 7 or 8. And, and I'll, if I haven't done my training yet, this is typically what I do if I'm working from home. I get all dressed up in my workout clothes and then that way it's 8 o'clock and I can just decide at 8 o'clock I am hella no way going to the gym because that's when it's the most crowded and annoying and there's all these high school boys there that are just like sitting on the machines that I want like this like texting with their girlfriend or downloading some inappropriate documents um, so I don't go and, and I'll just go take out the the stuff I have for my home gym here which is nice it's all hidden under my bed and in certain closets because I'm OCD about being neat but um, what I found is that by the time I have such a full day and I get to six, seven o'clock at night, more often than not, I'm so, you know, emotionally, mentally depleted. Sometimes I even have a headache. Um, we're getting those addressed with this hormonal specialist in Phoenix next week. Um, but I, I'm just finding that it's my nature um, that I, sometimes I'm too beat and, and I'm so drained and, and, and yes, you guys have talked about this before, sometimes it's just a mental thing and you have to go get over it and you just do it, you start your workout and you're, you're feeling great. But then there's also that fine line of, okay, if you're really this beat, Kelly, and you've been traveling for, I think I just traveled four weeks in a row, nonstop. Sometimes you do need to just, you know, take it easy. And so I came to this realization that I think what I need to do is just stop trying to make, what is it, a square peg fit in a round hole. I am trying to make, I've been trying to make myself for the past three or four months, you know, be somebody that can get up in the morning, do my cardio, and then, you know, lift separately and just go to the gym at noon um, or whatever, or do it at night. And the, ultimately what I'm figuring out is it's not working for me. It's, it's pushing too much, you know, I'm pushing too much like a fish going upstream. Is that what I wanted to say? I'm not quite sure. But do you know where I'm getting at? Sometimes you can you can challenge yourself and you can say, I can get up earlier. And instead of having that mindset of, oh, I can't do that. I can't, you know, eat that way. I couldn't cut out, you know, Pop-Tarts and, and whatever. Yes, you can. But on the other hand, if your life is structured a certain way, for me, like I'm realizing I'm spending too much time or I'm spending more time and more effort fighting just the natural flow of my days. My days right now are quite often so filled with meetings and calls and sometimes I get to 7.30 and I finish my last call 
And I realistically could go until 11, and then somebody will call me and say, you need to be on this Twitter chat at 8. So then I do a Twitter chat from 8 to 9. And usually my man friend calls me at 9.30. He's in New York. Um, so when we're not together, we talk. And so it's like, you know, I'm looking at the whole day going, <sighs> it gets stressful and, you know, I feel very depleted in the evening. Of course I knew that my friend was going to call me right now, so I'm going to have to tell her I'll call her right <laughs> um, in fact, I will just um, call her right back. It's still ringing, sorry. You're gonna have to forgive me. Um, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm, I'm at five minutes, so this is very cool. Uh, I just kind of came to the realization when I, I had you know my calls scheduled so early today, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do what I, I wanted to do. I texted Whitney either this morning or last night, and I said, you know what? Here's what I need to do. I need to get up and have both my weight training and my cardio done in the morning. It has to be all together because for, for various reasons, I, I don't tend to be able to fit it in later. I don't like taking three showers during the day. Um, you know, I, I, I like the idea of getting it all done. Wow, that's not going to my voicemail, is it? Okay, it went to voice. I'm gonna have to call her right back. It's just really weird. It keeps redialing. Sorry about that. Um, I, I just realized, like, I'm fighting this too much. I keep obsessing over. Well, maybe I'll go to bed a little bit earlier. Cause I was doing this two days ago. I'm like, well, what if I get up at six? If I get up at six and I go here, and you know what? It was all over the silliest detail. I was. I've told myself I want to be done with my training and and. And in my office at 9 and then that way if I just go to the gym at 12 I'm only taking out an hour it's always been a fight for me between taking myself away from my business and and treating myself and taking care of myself and my fitness goals that I want and and the, the two t tend to fight each other and and I can't do it anymore I know that I would be so much more focused and energized if I got everything done in the morning. And you know what? If that means that I'm going to start my day at 9.30 or 10 and work later and not have the stress of, oh my God, I'm not going to get my workout done and I'm stressed about that and I'm feeling bad and whatever. Instead, I'd rather just get it all done, feel great, and then have full focus, 100% energy, not be distracted by when am I going to get my workout in, have I scheduled it, yada, yada, yada. Sometimes you just got to face that's not, that approach isn't going to work and make a switch. Um, lastly, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up because I'm at seven minutes and a half, but I shot this video in here. I'm doing a separate video just on this swapper chair, but you guys have heard me refer to the back pain um, situation that I dealt with last year. And you guys, it was intense. Like it kept me from, I had to stop running. I had to stop weight training. I kind of feel like a drama queen as I say this because... I feel like some of you that have been following me are like, well, first she had this calf problem, and then she has a back problem. What are you going to make up next? I'm not making it up. It was not enjoyable. Um, you know, the kind of thing where I'm putting on my running tights in the morning and just standing up and putting those, you know, your running pants or your whatever, your workout pants on, that would hurt my back. I, I was just so fully aware of just how much we take for granted our the ability to just function without pain, the ability to bend over and pick something up off the floor without pain shooting through your lower back. But I am sitting here in my office on the swapper chair that we got as, who's texting? Oh, that's a reminder. Um, with a campaign through Fit Fledgel. But you guys, Jay Cardiello told me about them. Jay Cardiello is an awesome celebrity trainer. He's my BFF, he's an awesome guy. He told me about this company and we just did a Twitter chat for them. This chair is so comfortable. So, you see how I'm bouncing? <laughs> Someone's going to leave a nasty comment on my video, I know that. But it's very comfortable. It takes the idea of sitting on a medicine ball to a whole other level. It's, it's very stable. You can lean. See? Ooh! But it's, it forces you to sit up straight. Um, much more supportive than I think trying to sit on a medicine ball. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Whoa! Sorry. And that's, of course, my big inspirational wall of stuff. Um, but this is my swapper chair. Um, very simple. I love how it fits right under my desk. Um, and it is so ridiculously comfortable. So if you can see, you know, this is where you sit. I can't really push it down because with one hand I'm not able to do it. It is so insanely comfortable and supportive. And hold on. There I am. Um, 
<laughs> Sorry. Um, so anyway, I'm sitting on it. It has, it has been a game changer for me. Before I had this chair, I had gone out and bought like a $400 plus ergonomically friendly uh, chair for my back. And I'm telling you guys, even with that chair, um, that technically it felt like it should feel right on my back, I would come in here and I would be talking with the man friend at night and I'm like, this, if I sit in there longer than 20 minutes, my back, I could just feel it. I could feel the back pain shooting through my lower back. I had my dad create this little um, ledge down underneath my desk because I learned that you've got to have your, your legs when you're seated at, at um, right angles. I'm going way too long on this video. I'm over 10 minutes and I said I wouldn't do that anymore. So I'm going to zip it. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Um, this is Happy Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. So get yourself a swapper. Check them out, you guys. It's actually incredibly, it's probably a third of the price that I paid for that other chair. Game changer. Thank me later.